The Beatnik Movement by Emily Polozov The Beatnik Movement was both a literary movement as well as a social movement that began in the late 1940s to 50s and lasted until around the mid-60s. The movement was centered primarily in the artistic neighborhoods of New York's Greenwich Village and San Francisco's North Beach. The movement was sparked by a small group of authors who, are, who were unhappy with the American government and the culture of the United States at that time. These writers included Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, William Burroughs, John Cleveland Holmes, and Lawrence Ferlinghetti. The Beatnik movement was all about experiencing real things, so they saw new ways and ideas that challenged social norms of that time period. Psychological issues associated with the Beatnik movement were driven by World War II. Authors such as Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac held a deep unhappiness with the effects of the war that inspired them to create the Beatnik movement that challenged the way people viewed the war and the government. A huge part of the Beatnik literary movement was about being honest and open-minded, characteristics they thought the United States government lacked at that time. Beatniks no longer wanted to be controlled and limited in any form. They sought out many different ways to reach their full potential mentally, with the use of drugs and other forms of self-awareness and expression. The Beatnik movement, although known primarily as a literary movement, was also a substantial social movement that suffered greatly from societal standards of the 50s and early 60s. The Beatniks were all about separating themselves from the mainstream social causes. Instead, they focused on shining light on the social injustices they felt were being ignored, such as addiction, homosexuality, and the horrors of war, to name a few. Beatniks focused on the underside of life, and they were usually condemned and written off for their views on society's norms. The rebellious ideas that questioned the U.S. government were often censored by the government and disregarded by differing social groups because of their radical views and interpretations of life. Beatnik culture was the result of the dissatisfaction with American consumer culture. Beatnik means downtrodden or beaten down in spirits. The beat generation was created to help the outcasts of society who didn't fit in or felt beaten down by society feel included. The beatnik culture attracted a lot of teenagers and young adults who felt alone and alienated because of World War II. Beatnik literature was used to include these isolated people who wanted to feel real experiences and become enlightened. It was a literary art form that was used as a tool of inclusion to transcend conventional morality while talking about unpopular social issues not necessarily discussed during the 50s and 60s. Beatniks did not like how politics were being run during the 50s and 60s. They felt they were very controlled and limited. However, that being said, they didn't necessarily join or affiliate themselves with any political party as they were apolitical. Although, how politics were being run can be found in Beatnik literature, and they had a big part in starting a movement. Politics weren't much of a concern for Beatniks later on. Beatniks were all about seeking out a higher consciousness, and they did that through the religion of Buddhism. They found it to be very Zen and peaceful. This conflicted greatly with the common religions of Americans, such as Christianity and Catholicism. It was another reason beatniks were looked down upon and outcasted even further. It was the first time Americans in a large group practiced Eastern religions rather than the common Western religions. During the 50s and 60s, the United States was still recovering from World War II. Economically, it was very difficult for some to manage, so some turned to the beatniks as a way to escape and view life from higher consciousness where materialistic things didn't matter to them. Beatniks despised a consumerist attitude most Americans had, which is somewhat ironic as the Beatnik movement, which is closely linked to jazz and incorporated the art form into their literature greatly, increased the consumption of jazz music and the music industry in general. Both Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac are considered to be two of the most influential writers of the Beatnik movement and are credited for laying the foundation in which the Beatnik movement stands. Allen Ginsberg's collections of poems are still talked about today for his power and honesty of describing the state of the U.S. back then, especially in his poem Howl, which commented on values of post-war America and drew a very vivid image for his readers. Jack Kerouac was no different. His novel, On the Road, is a form of unconstructed writing that underwent no editing or planning in order to show the immediacy of experiences. 
The novel showed the life of a beatnik through Jack and his friends as they traveled across the United States and experienced through a beatnik's perspective. The novel was originally written on sheets of paper taped together to resemble a scroll. It was later formatted into a book so that it could be shared more easily. Both of these authors' poems and novels show the power and long-lasting effects the beatnik movement had during the 50s and 60s as not only a social movement, but also as a literary movement.